Southwest Florida. This is ABC 7 News, the news that works for you. At 630, if you're heading out in Naples this morning, you're going to see several new high-end businesses now open for business. So during this tough economic time, does that mean that Collier County is actually immune to the economic downturn? That's a question we wanted to find out. ABC 7 Scott Dabrowski works for you to get an answer. Scott? And Eric, despite what's going up in Naples, the answer is very, very simple. Collier County is not immune to this economic downturn, but the good news here is that it does actually hold some hidden secrets that can help you thrive. In a rough economy, what you see from the streets of Naples may be surprising. A new gourmet supermarket now open, another upscale restaurant, a Bentley Jaguar car dealership, and dozens of new half a million dollar condos. So, does this mean the economy in Naples is thriving? Is all of this an indication of economic prosperity? ABC7 went to the Economic Development Council's president to sort it all out. A lot of these commercial properties that you see going up right now and opening right now probably started their process about four years ago um, in planning, thinking about what they were doing. So planning then means building now. But overall, Tammy Nemechek characterizes the economic climate in Naples like this. It's concerning. Concerning because the county's jobless rate continues to climb. Now at 8.4 percent, up nearly one percentage point from last month, and hardest hit, still the building industry. The money and assets for the future aren't necessarily on the real estate development, but it's on preparing our community for businesses in diversified industries. Nemechek says the good news is what most people don't know. Life science and technology companies are growing in Naples. They need people badly to do all sorts of jobs and are willing to pay. Specifically, AirFlight is looking for 100 workers and Arthrex wants to hire 300 people over the next five years. It specializes in surgical devices. Those are the jobs of the future and these are companies that probably 50% of their product is exported outside the United States. Meaning even more money in the pockets of those who work there. And this morning for more information on how Collier County can help you thrive during these tough economic times, you can just log on to our website, abc-7.com. Once you're there, just click on Sites on 7. We are live in Naples, Scott Dabrowski, ABC 7 News. Good morning, Southwest Florida. This is ABC 7 News, the news that works for you. At 6.30 and only on ABC 7, we know the economy's tight, right? So this morning, we're working for you to find out where the high-paying jobs are and how you can snag one. ABC 7 Scott Dabrowski live with this exclusive story. A lot of ears listening this morning, Scott. Well, Eric, that's right. You know, last week we told you that many high-tech companies all across Southwest Florida are actually hiring for all sorts of jobs. Well, this morning we're going to show you a very easy way to find a company that meets your qualifications. The simple click of a mouse could be your key to better economic prosperity. There's opportunity here. Economic Development Council President Tammy Nemechek is sharing job secrets with ABC7 all for you. Secret number one, high-tech companies are popping up all across Southwest Florida. As they are hidden secrets here in, in Collier County and in Southwest Florida. And all of them are hiring. From a job number standpoint, we're probably talking about uh, 10,000 jobs total. Secret number two, the EDC is making it easy for you to get the 411 on all of it. All you have to do is click sign up for newsletter and you get two publications. The first is a weekly e-letter letting you know where the jobs are, who's hiring, and what the economic trends are. The second, a monthly publication called High Tech Connect. It's an opportunity for you as an employee or an employer to, to know all there is to know about the high tech industry here in Southwest Florida. Secret number three, you don't have to be a high tech science geek to land a good job. True, most of the jobs do require some sort of specialized training, but many companies are helping with training programs. So the companies will help you bottom line? They can. They, they have, the resources are here. We can grow jobs here. We can grow these high-tech jobs here that are here year-round. For example, one company now hiring is Envant, recently featured in the EDC's High Tech Connect. It specializes in nanotechnology-based coatings, and its president says it needs all sorts of workers. We expect to really expand here very, very quickly. Um, and this is where our headquarters is going to be. So what we're going to be is a complete research and development synthesis lab. 
and for that easy link to sign up for both of those free publications. We've made it very easy for you. All you have to do is log on to our website this morning, abc-7.com. Once you're there, just click on Sites on 7. Live in Collier County, Scott Dabrowski, ABC 7 News. All right, hopefully a lot of our viewers will